cover two definitions in this video. The first one is interactive system. Now this is an electric power production system, which we know what that is, that's just you know something that can generate electrical energy, that can operate in parallel with and deliver power to an electric primary source. So here we've got obviously a solar PV system and this is something that is operating in parallel with the utility. So this is not something like a, like a generator. You know, a generator, obviously it, it, in, in most applications, it's not operating at the same time as the utility. When the utility drops off, the transfer switch switches over and the generator turns on. They're not running at the same time. So an interactive system is kind of the opposite. With our PV system, we don't want this thing to only be creating energy when the utility goes down. I mean, that would be a very expensive installation that we run for five minutes out of the entire year. So we want our PV system to be generating power, you know, uh, whenever the sun is up. Anytime that it can be, we want it to be generating energy. So that would be an interactive system. It's operating in parallel with, and it delivers power to an electric primary source. Now. I just say the utility, uh, you could be off the grid, you know, you, you could have a microgrid. So you've got your PV and your main source is, is something else. Maybe you've got your own hydroelectric dam, maybe you've got wind, you've got whatever, right? So I don't want to just limit it to a utility. But in 99% of all instances, it's going to be a, a, what, a utility and a PV system. That would be the, the, the prime example in 2021 of an interactive system when I'm working together with the utility. Compare that to this next definition, which is a standalone system. So we have an interactive system and we have a standalone system. A standalone system is a system that can provide power independent of an electrical production and distribution network. So. I'm going to be perfectly honest here. This, this definition, it, it needs some work. Um, and they're going to fix this in the 2023 code. You know, I, I kind of have a reputation among members of different code making panels of somebody that just beats up the code book and, and points out all the screw ups and the mistakes. And, and I, I don't think that's necessarily true because I also have a reputation from a lot of electricians as someone that defends the code book to, to the point of absurdity where I say, no, the code book is perfect and there's nothing wrong with it. And, and I don't think either of those are true. The code book's not perfect, uh, but I also try not to bash the people uh, that are involved in the process. Look, we're all humans and we're all doing the best we can. Uh, in the 2023 revision process, there is a task group that's trying to solve the issue of definitions and, and alternative energy systems, standalone systems, interactive systems, because look, it, you know, these things have been around for a very long time, but they've never been at the forefront of the industry. And all of a sudden, everybody is bombarded with PV and fuel cells and wind and everything else that goes along with it. And we're all trying to play catch up here, including the people that write the code. So standalone system was kind of tweaked in the 2020 uh, version of the NEC. And it says it's a system that can provide power independent of an electrical production and distribution network, uh, which would be a utility. Well, any generator meets that definition, right? Can a generator provide power that's independent of a utility? Well, of course, it doesn't need the utility to function. So the definition of a standalone system isn't perfect. And I think, I think ultimately what you have is you have an interactive system and that would be like your solar PV where you're working uh, together in parallel with a different source. And then you have a standalone system, which is where you're not. So there you go. That would be your interactive system and your standalone system, at least as written for the 2020 NEC. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.